Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. We are continuing our tutorial series and in today's tutorial we are going to discuss two more Power Query function that is date dot start of the week and date dot end of the week. So let's begin. So under the home tab transform data transform data. So we go to our table and here we have this year month. So let me do one thing because uh, I would like to show you a few more things. At the end of table I'll create one more column which is very similar to this one. So let me call it date one and just let me copy this year month here. Just not to scroll right now, very simple thing I'm doing. And now let's begin. So first of all, bef even before we use it, let me do one thing. Let me find out day of week. Which day of week is this? So that when we actually use start of the week, we should be able to understand where it is moving. So day of week name and we'll take date date one close the parenthesis okay so now we know this is tuesday monday this thing now let's create a new column which is now start of the week again custom column start of week date dot start of week and we give date one and this one takes parameters so let's begin let's see what happens if i give zero so and this seems like this is sunday but let's create one more column and see uh, date start of week start of week week day which is basically date dot start date dot day of week name and here we give start of week close it thing seems fine okay so this is all sunday so let me go ahead and change it here and let me make it monday to go to this step, we need to come here and see. Okay, this is all Monday and the date is, you can see there's a one day difference here that Tuesday there is a uh, few days of, couple of days difference here. This is Monday, this is same. This is Monday, this is same. This is, now let me make it Tuesday for our reference. Let's make it as Tuesday. And uh, so, okay. So now I make it Tuesday. So Tuesday is same and then you can see the sixth it's moved forward because it was a Monday, so it moved a six day back from there. This is actually a Monday again. We moved six day back from here. Thursday moved a couple of days back from here. This is Thursday. We moved again a couple of days back from here. And this is Monday. We moved again six days uh, back from here. Uh, five days actually. Uh, six days. Uh, sixth day is Tuesday itself. Monday is uh, seventh day back. So we got these dates now. End of week is pretty simple. We know the start of the week now. End of week, we are going to create the same stuff, but here it should simply add the seven days. And we basically, sixth day is going to be the end of the week. Uh, we don't want to insert in between. So we'll click on the last column here and we'll say custom here and we'll say end of week and date dot end of week and date one and here we are going to give now two because that's what we have used there so it should be a uh, six day behind six day so basically seventh day is itself is tuesday again so we are a week week is seven days so uh, seven days will give me the next week same day tuesday but i need a monday here so this is my end of the week and this end of the week is it tuesday or monday let's go ahead and check this out so because we need a Monday, okay, because week starting on Tuesday, so day of and week day and this should behave same. Let's see. So date dot week day date dot week. day 
of week name and we give and of week there and let's see okay all are monday so correct so basically it's basically the start of the week which we are giving and based on the that the end of week is actually getting calculated correctly so the parameter we have to also understand whether it's a start or end because if you might have remember in the dax when we were talking about a start of the year and end of the year we used to give end of year so we need to understand what we are giving here so that's what i told you now we are giving a, a start of the week day, uh, parameter here so do try these functions out do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series um subscribe to my channel press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new video thanks for watching this video thank